dynamic and unfolding. That's how RCMP are describing the nationwide manhunt for two teens wanted in connection with three murders. Today, RCMP confirmed two sightings of the men near the small, remote northern Manitoba town of Gillum. They believe they're still there. Manitoba RCMP has deployed a significant amount of resources to the Gillum area. RCMP officers flood the area with emergency response teams, crisis negotiators and aircrafts searching for these murder suspects. They confirmed yesterday the burned van found near the town was being driven by Cam McLeod and Briar Schmigelski, who are wanted on Canada-wide warrants in connection to three British Columbia deaths. Australian Lucas Fowler, his American girlfriend China Deese, and University of BC lecturer Leonard Dick. On Wednesday, police charged the pair with second-degree murder for Dick's death. These are people that, that the thrill of, of killing somebody is probably still with them. And the fact that they are involved in a nationwide manhunt and people are looking for them probably is the thrill that they're getting presently. And I hope that's the only thrill that they're getting presently. But why they went to Gillum, no one knows. I can't wrap my brain around the fact that if I was running from the law, I would come to Gillum. The small town only has one road in. They could catch a train north up to Churchill, but Via Rail has been working closely with RCMP. Their only other option, face the tough northern Manitoba terrain. If these guys weren't prepared and went into the bush, you know, uh, I, could, uh, I could see that being very, very trying for them. Meanwhile, residents in the town are locking their doors and sleeping close to their hunting rifles. We're used to being a very easygoing community that feels pretty safe, so this has been a bit of a shock to the system, I think. The reason in McDonald's say they are concerned, but they're not losing sleep over it. They say the high presence of police is reassuring. Now, RCMP have confirmed that they're investigating a photo of Nazi paraphernalia allegedly sent by Schmigelski. Schmigelski's father said in an interview with media earlier this week that he doesn't expect his son to get out of this alive. If you do see the pair, call 911 or your local police detachment. In Winnipeg, Stephanie LeSouk, City News.